Hey everyone, yeah, I know the last thing you want to see when you click on a review video for a figure is somebody's face because you know they're going to yap for a minute. But I just want to say I have not posted in a long time. If anyone here is a subscriber to me and clicked on this video, thank you very much for sticking around. If anyone here is not a subscriber to me and just clicked on this video, please consider subscribing and clicking on more videos. I have some good ones in the past and hopefully there's going to be some fun ones in the future. But today we are going to be talking about the figure of one of my favorite British characters and it is neither of these three, believe it or not. Instead, we are going to be talking about the SH Figurts Spider Park. Now, this figure has been out for a minute, and you guys might have seen some reviews floating around already, but, you know, it's never too late to give my opinion, especially if it's going to be a bad one. So, we're going to crack this bad boy open. I just got to find where I cut it. Spider Punk is easily the star of the show of Across the Spider-Verse to me. He's my favorite character in the movie. I really wish he got more screen time, and I'm very excited to see more of him in the next film. You know, whenever that decides to come out. So here we have him right out of the box, and the first thing I'm realizing is how many hands he comes with. I was not familiar with that whatsoever. So he comes with a lot of hands, he comes with a separate neck peg for the unmasked head. And to be honest, this is the real reason I'm getting this figure. I, I had the Marvel Legends, but I saw they announced this, and he's just such a cool character. He has such a unique design, and I really like British people. I don't know why. Cool accents. Cool movies, cool food, I guess. So, we're gonna crack him out of this plastic and take a look at what he's got. I would just like to clarify that these freaking plastic wraps they do are my arch enemy. I hate them. So here we have Hobie out of the box, and the first thing I noticed, as this is only my second SH Fig Arts, that is not two fingers, there are two hands. My second SH Fig Arts figure, with my first being Lightyear from the Lightyear movie, these figures are very light, especially when compared to a legend. Um, you could tell they are high quality, but there's there's definitely a huge weight difference, like they feel light as a feather. This one, much heavier though than lighter. not that that really matters for this, so, hello. Alright, so right out of the box though, let's take a look at the articulation. Obviously, you're going to get some restriction because of this vest right here. Um, the head seems to move quite a bit, I don't want to be rough with it, but I mean, it moves as much as I think I'd need a head to move. Um, he's got the little collar accessory right there. Um, I believe if you flip these hands upside down, you can still get some good range on the up, even with the vest. The legs, let's see, straight up to the side. Can he do the splits? He can do the splits, hooray! Can any of you guys do the splits? Not quite. Don't worry, it's the effort that counts. But yeah, so he's able to do the splits. Sorry for that little detour. He has double jointed knees, obviously. If he didn't at this price point, I would be pretty disappointed. But yeah, he's got two sets of double jointed knees, so you can already see he can do a cool... Ah, rock and roll slide if I check out this foot articulation. Okay, so, okay, we seem to have some limited movement here. So it looks like because of the boot design, his feet can only, well, it looks like his feet can only go back to this without like crunching on it. But you do have what looks like should be able to bend right here, although I don't seem to be able to get it. Oh, there we go. So just tight on the other side. So you're able to do this, um, the toes articulation. But the boot really can't like tilt far back because of the design of it, which kind of stinks. Because um, I think that might hinder my ability to do like the rock and roll. Like, I'm saying this like I don't know what I'm talking about. But like, you know the slide they do when you like, someone slides and like hits the guitar. But that toe articulation actually, as you can see, it frees you up and allows you to do something like that. So I'm sure we'll get that pose going later in the video. So overall, a very well articulated figure. I did not check out the chest. Once again, limited by the vest, which... I wonder if this vest can be popped off if these arms are popped off. I'm a little paranoid to pop the arms off, but I am going to do that within a few minutes, so... Um, I... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. The vest is glued on. So, yeah. Um, definitely some limited chest articulation just because he's in a vest. But, I mean, for most figures, that is expected unless it's a soft goods figure. Um, so, yeah. Overall... The figure at face value is really good, so let's check out the alternate accessories. Here we have the guitar, and I'm actually impressed with how much, like, this might be the best, like, this is, I mean, this might be printed, not painted, but this is really, it's really well done. It's really cool. Um, are the strings? The strings are 3D. They are all textured, and they all feel, like, thin, like they'd be a guitar string at this scale, so that's very good. Um, we also have the alternate head and neck, which I will take out. Here it is. Um, absolutely love it. Like I said, I really wanted the unmasked um, head sculpt for this character. I adore this. Um, I'm going to swap it right now, and instead of cutting the video to do so, I will show you guys how to do it. So it does come with a little instruction booklet. 
which I'm sure most of you will not need. Like I said, I'm not a huge import collector. So it says what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop off the head. Oh, well, I was going to pop off the head and the neck separately, but you, you can pop off the head and neck separately, guys. Hold up. There we go. So the head and neck separate. You're going to want to take off that collar. I'm going to want to clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So let's get the collar on the new one. Oh, the collar goes on the bottom, I think. So slide this on right here. There we go. Pop that neck. Okay. I'm going to ignore the collar for now. I'm obviously doing it wrong. So we're just going to pop that neck in. There we go. I see the Adam's apple, so I know I'm facing the right direction. See again if I can get this collar on. Got the collar on. Boom. And for the moment of truth, the head sculpt I've been waiting to see on him. There we go. It looks awesome. Like I said, I, I really am glad they kept the style of his character from the movie. He's very tall, very long, very lanky, so um, I see some representation for myself there. Um, but yeah, he... The head sculpt looks great. I mean, the hair, everything about it looks great. Um, he's got that little grin on his face. It's very detailed. Um, and obviously, it's an animated movie, so you're not really expecting any lifelike... Like, you're not expecting, like, any, like, wrinkles or anything on the head, but they still... No, they did a phenomenal job. You can see that detailing. Um, I think, for me, the head might be the highlight of this figure. And I know Marvel Legends recently released a head sculpt for him, too, which is funny, because like I said, I only got this because I didn't think we were ever going to get an unmasked head sculpt for Legends. But I'm also glad I got this because this does overall feel to be a much better figure. The Legends one was a little stiff. So let's check out all these extra hands. So what's interesting right off the bat is we have two sets of the more open palm but like closed fingertip hands if that makes sense. And as you can see, they're both different. So he's actually wearing two different hands from two different sets right now if I can get it to focus in a little more on him. If I can wrestle this other hand out of the packaging, I can actually show you. So this is one of them. He has the equivalent of this on his um, right hand, so right here on the left. And this is the other one. Of course, they're not going to focus now. So they're different, but they're very similar. One has a thumb more tucked in and one has it open. So I guess one is more wall climbing and one is more like maybe going to shake your hand or just a more casual hand position, um, as you can see with the two hands there. And the other hands included are... We have a guitar pick hand, which is a must, obviously. He is a, he plays the guitar. We have a slightly open hand that comes with the guitar pick hand, and this one is, I know the word for this, the fretting hand. So this is also for the guitar, which I didn't realize before I took it out. I just thought it was kind of an open hand, so they didn't, so they had two hands there. We also have two standard grabbing hands, which I'm assuming these can also be used for the guitar. But they aren't the ones designed to be used for the guitar, I guess. And, of course, sorry, the quality's messing with me a bit on this video. I can already see. And, of course, as any Spider-Man figure needs, we've got two web-slinging hands. So, those are all the hands, and we have one more thing in here. And this is actually... Where'd it go? This is like the band they have in Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I don't know if there's a word for it or a name for it. But all you got to do to put it on, I'm assuming, is to pop off that, slide it on. Not sure if this is the right direction, so try not to go crazy if I put it on backwards. And then pop a hand back on over it. So, pretty simple. Um, it doesn't go on over the hand, obviously you have to remove it, but it's a cool little accessory. Not sure that I will always have it included on him, but I mean, especially because this is a movie figure, that is significant to the movie. So, let's pop on these hands for the guitar. And then I will jump over to do a size comparison, which I always like to do first in videos. I kind of forgot about it this time because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm watching a review, the main thing I want to see most of the time is a size comparison, especially if it's a brand that's not Legends or like my main brands. So um, I'm going to go on a technical difficulty hold. In the time I was gone, everything went wrong. It took me forever to get that hand on. It took me forever to get the guitar on over his head, which I should have just taken that off. But it is on. Um... Trying to get the strap to sit nicely, as you can see on these shoulders. But, as you can see, you got the pick hand and you've got the fretting hand holding it. This is an awesome accessory, obviously. There's definitely some crazy poses you can get into with this. If I can get this leg to sit still, I could probably give him something cool to do. You know, I'm, the pose is obviously going to take a little more time to work with. Um, 
I'm not good at posing in the first place, much less some imports and everything. And this leg seems to be loosening up on me a lot, which I don't like. But overall, this is a really cool figure. So let's check out the size comparison and we will get into my final thoughts. All right, so let's kind of run through this and check him out next to some other figures, especially some Spider-Man ones. So here we have him next to the newest cardback Scarlet Spider, who his feet are messed up on mine, so it's kind of going to be hard to do a full comparison. But you can see the size he sits right around, as you can see. So Spider-Punk seems to be about the same height, a little bit taller with the spikes. So let's also check him out next to Union Jack, you know, a fellow British superhero. Again, about the same height, just with... Oh, minus the spikes. Um, with the hair, probably a bit taller. So here's Captain Britain, who does stand taller than him. And if I'm not incorrect, stands taller than him with the spikes included. So obviously, Captain Britain's a bigger dude. Let's unpose my amazing fantasy Spider-Man, which stinks because I love this pose and I can never get him into it, I feel like. Um, so that'll definitely be like an hour task after this. As you can tell, I'm, I'm not good at posing. I've said that, but just want to remind everybody... Don't go too harsh in the comments. Um, so here we have Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, who he stands pretty significantly taller than. And just for giggles, here he is next to James Bond. So obviously, the biggest thing size-wise with this figure is just the fact that he has different proportions. He's based off the movie version, the movie character. Um, so obviously, that's going to lead to some different... Um, some different choices and designs and everything, but I actually think it looks really well. And like I said, I think he still fits in fine next to a normal sized figure. Like I said, I'm a tall, skinny, lanky dude. So seeing someone look like this is not like unrealistic to me at all. Um, so yeah, overall, this is a really good figure. He comes with a lot of good, um, a lot of hands, some that I can't even imagine what I'd use for. So this is just going to be his, him waving right now. There you go. Got a little waving slash wall climbing hand. Got a little not wall climbing, but almost wall climbing hand. Um, just the straight open hands, which I actually like these two. Um, but yeah, he's kind of like the character is kind of more not comedic in the sense that he's a joke, but he's got a lot of funny moments in the movie, a lot of funny lines. So the hands, I'm sure, can you can have some fun with what you're posing him as. Um, so like I said, the articulation is around the board very good. Um, the only disappointing part to me is these boots that aren't, um, that can't go back too far. But the toe articulation is very good and helps kind of fill in that gap. Great leg articulation. Um, there's no thigh swivel, which I don't even think is necessary. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I mean, it would allow his feet to pose a little bit further apart. But I mean, I don't. I'm. I. I only really use thigh swivel when a character won't stand up straight. So maybe that's just me. But I. I don't think the thigh. The lack of thigh swivel is terrible. I think the boots are a bigger issue to me. The torso articulation is not crazy. Um, just because the upper bot, the upper torso can't move too much with the vest, but it can move. So you still get a lot of posing capability there. You got a lot of detail on this figure. I'll show a close up because I don't know that I have. Um, a lot of detail, like this thing looks good, I'll slide this guitar off real quick, um, the design on the pants is spot on, all this, like these scribbles and all that is, I'll try and get closer to show you guys that, there you go, it's insane, it really is a good look, um, it's also an awkward angle to be showing him at, the pins aren't too crazy, they don't need to be though, they're not crazy in the movie, just the whole, the, the vest, the design on the vest and the clothes is really great. Um, I think the head sculpt and the design, especially on the clothes and on the guitar, is probably the highlight of this figure. So overall, I'm going to say, for me, he's probably a, I want to say about a 7 or 8 out of 10. He's not, I don't think he's perfect. I don't think there's a lot of perfect figures at all. Um, I just don't think he's... I don't think he's a 10 out of 10 figure to me, but I do think he's 100% worth the money. For the money, this is a great figure to have. I'm not trying to say he's not. So that's why I don't even like giving numbers um, sometimes in my reviews. But no, I mean, he's a great figure. Um, I definitely think he's better. He's an improvement over the Marvel Legends. I kind of like the weightier feel of some of the Legends, but there's definitely some poses I'm going to get into um, that are going to be a lot of fun with this guy. He's going to be a lot of fun in a lot of my displays, I'm sure, going forth. So... Yep, this is the SH figure arch spider punk, and I think it is an awesome figure. And if you're a fan of the character, I think it's one you don't want to miss out on. So 
if I'm correct, it is up on Big Bad Toy Store, and I think I actually got mine from GameStop, so I know it is available in some stores if you're able to find it locally, and if not, it's available online, so be sure to get him soon if you guys want him, because I don't know how fast he'll sell out, but the aftermarket for figures like this, I'm sure you know, tends to not be too pretty, so thank you guys for watching. Like I said, first video I've done in a while, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and be sure to stay tuned. I don't know how frequently I'll be posting, but I'll definitely be posting, so... Um, again, if you enjoyed, comment, um, like, you feel free to subscribe if you'd like, and thank you guys for stopping by.